Hello, in this video, I am going to teach what is feet in poetry. So, before learning what is feet in poetry, we have to actually learn what is stressed and unstressed syllable. A stressed syllable is that part of a word in a poem that you say with greater emphasis. And an unstressed syllable is that part of a word in a poem that you say with lesser emphasis. For example, we can take the word curfew. The first part of this word is stressed and second part is unstressed. Curfew. So, according to the sequence of the stressed and unstressed syllable, the line of a poem can be divided into feet. There are five most important feet in poetry. So, let us learn those five feet in poetry. So, here are the five most important feet in poetry. The first one is iambus or iambic foot, which means an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. For example, Thomas Gray's elegy written in a country churchyard. The second is chalky or trachaic food, which means a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. For example, Robert Browning's one word mouth. The third one is ponty or spondac food, which means two stressed syllables. For example, Robert Browning's The Bishop Orders His Tomb at St. Praxed's Church. The fourth one is an apist or an apistic food, which means two unstressed syllables followed by one stressed syllable. For example, Lord Byron's The Destruction of Sanctuary. The fifth one is dactyl or dactylic food, which means one stressed syllable followed by two unstressed syllables. For example, Robert Browning's The Low's Leader. The first three, that is Iambus, Chalky and Sponty, are disyllabic feet based on two syllables. And the last two, that is Anapist and Dactyl, are trisyllabic feet based on three syllables.